everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins! So, in the previous episode we were trying to meet Pompey, but it seems that Ptolemy's men met him first and this is what happened to him. And kind of amusing was Cleopatra's reaction to that because it took her like two seconds to come up with a plan B, which is to go meet Caesar instead. So this is what we're going to do today and I'm sure that's going to be pretty interesting. Also, when I edited the previous episode, I noticed that these mean looking soldier guys who presumably are Cleopatra's bodyguards totally ran away when Venator attacked us. So I had to fight that guy all on my own. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give them the benefit of a doubt. Maybe they were just trying to bring Cleopatra to safety like good bodyguards, but it totally looked like they were running away. Anyway, um, I gotta talk to Aya and I don't know. The quest is called Aya, Blade of the Goddess. So this might be another Aya mission. Let's see. Forewarning Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. Sail to Alexandria. Oh, right, someone told me about this in the comments, that this is kind of a point of no return, but I can still do other stuff later, I believe. It's just going to be a very long, like, um, main mission. Oh. Now, the question is... Um, do I want to do anything before I go on this mission? Honestly, I don't I don't think I have to. My weapons are still fairly up to date. I mean, I'm level 40 now because I've been uh, finishing some of the uh, points in the vicinity, the landmarks. Um, and yeah, as far as I know, I can still do all of these missions later. So um, I guess I'm just going to do this now. Why not? Let's let's just go to Alexandria. I think <gasps> I'm prepared. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's go. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. <laughs> Making friends already, I see. <laughs> My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Aya, she is the real goddess. <laughs> there, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? <laughs> Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Can I just say that Foxy does is a great name? I don't know, I just like the sound of that name. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee, with so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fore, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little Pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse! I agree. Ah, la, 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 la. This reminds me of a day 20 years back when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired hull then, too. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch, 
and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only deep into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a shred of decency. Only a shred. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Well done, then! Seacraft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Want a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my shield smells like charcoal. <laughs> Damastes, please, shut up! What? We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. What a random observation. Anyway, I haven't been talking much because they've been talking so much, so I was trying to listen to them. Although it's always kind of hard to listen to their dialogue there! and More fight at the same time. Sheeps. They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those Nekatia that will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek <laughs> ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapult will fire upon your horde! Oh, this is not a battle we'll win without catapults! Huh? Okay, apparently I have some new kind of weapon here. Them, you Let's use it! Them off. Don't let them talk! Speed off! Taking it! Right, gotta brace again. Speed off! All right, now let's continue. Off the pace, can I use this again? Yes, I think I can. Show no mercy! Send them to the abyss! Anyway, I gotta get closer to these boats because. They are probably not in range. Go to heaven. More speed, Arrows in Right. Gotta brace. Up the pace. Go to heaven. Up the tempo. And let's try to hit the weak spot over here. Pick up the pace. Go to heaven. More speed. Ramming speed. Arrows incoming. Right, let's use. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta brace for a moment before I can use the catapult again. There we go, that was a good hit. Two boats with one catapult. The air stinks, but not the voresmen. It's something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Two ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make a fine navy though. I'm no boxy general oh, but they destroyed the our... coffers! Those were my men! They destroyed our Easy, boats. Foxy so... does. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the oceans turned dark with their blood! Damascus! Make the call! Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! <laughs> ah, la, la. They've sent an octarim! A floating city! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Fickle Poseidon! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods without cause. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Right. 
I'm not sure if I should go for the big ship first or the smaller ones. I mean, the smaller ones I can destroy faster, so I think I should go for them first. Right, got a brace. Tempo. Hey, Look, it's not, not over yet. Alright, there we go. That's most of the Off small tempo. ships. No, there's another one Fire. over here. Off the tempo. Let's take care of this one next. Alright, now I gotta brace for a while because again the big ship can fire several waves of arrows at once. Anyway, I gotta Take get closer, I think. Oh, I can actually others. reach it. Alright. Okay, let's brace. Need more speed. Go okay, to now others. let's take our Fire. chance to get in a few hits. More speed. Arrows incoming! And I probably Ready. should avoid the the burning water over here. <laughs> More speed, oh, oh no, now they are now they are actually trying to ram us, I think. Well, Take up the pace. That didn't work. Up the pace, brothers! Kinda missed us here. Taking aim. And I can actually Ready. get in some counter hits. That's good. Don't Alright. Now we can try to hit some of the weak spots. And counter. And brace and counter again. <laughs> yeah, our counters aren't doing as much damage as I would like. I think I need to get a little bit closer again. Right. Right. I mean, we're doing some damage, so if we are just persistent, we should be able to take it down. I mean, it, it doesn't look so good. I mean, the the sails are already like on fire. I think they're in a worse condition than we are. Right, I think Fire! they have to reload. <laughs> Fire Pick up the pace. Arrows yeah, but incoming! if I want to use my normal attacks, I think I Brace! definitely need to get closer. Fire! Like so. Fire! Still says not in range. But I think it's just Fire! because of Speed! the waves. Go to All right. Grace, let's Ray! counter. Ray! And again. Taking so I can I can try to counter in between the their different waves. I don't think this is actually damaging me if I quickly Speed leave the brace. And I guess I can try to ram them. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's ram them. This this is madness. I can barely see what's happening anymore. Pick up the pace! Let's use some fire bombs as well. But still, I would say that they're in worse condition than we are, so... I'm sure we're going to win this battle. Alright. Just a few more hits. And there we go. The gods have such a humor, Aya! The day I met you 
with the day danger found me again. <laughs> Bayek, you are one lucky Medjai. <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all, not at all. My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle. <laughs> By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. <laughs> All are safe, we're done. <laughs> Attacking Starboard! Oh, oh, no. oh no. Ptolemy is Malak, yes. you're not dead yet. Yes, Get out the marine boats. Use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Oh, no. Free you fool! <laughs> don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> don't don't die! I hope I hope you will be alright without us. Before battle, we will honor our goddess! <laughs> okay, well, may the gods be with you. And yep, I'm currently Aya, but let's see what we have to do next if Bayek is going to take over again. We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So <laughs> we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. Probably. Oh, so we're going for once. With perhaps the, the queen's entrance is unnecessary. Whether or not that actually happened this way is um, disputed, but I guess it makes for an interesting story. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> Let me do the talking. <laughs> Who are we? Yes, maybe we should kind of discuss this and make a plan and decide what to say if someone tries to talk to us. It seems like the best idea. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my philakitai. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? <laughs> of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Also, that carpet totally doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> it doesn't look like a person at all, right? Anyway, so far, no one actually got suspicious. Oh. And they're talking Latin. Yes, legionary. At ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth. his envoys from the east. With gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? <laughs> no, sorry. It is very sacred. <laughs> Must be handled by the Philakitai. They understand the merchandise. A sacred carpet. Dukes. Fascinating. Ave. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Sereno, who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. <laughs> I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. I totally Continue should do more way. racing. 
Maybe they've seen him racing. I mean, I have done at least one race, but I didn't didn't really win. Yes, legionary, at ease. You will stay in the palace till all politics are concluded. Look at these legionnaires. The palace is at your They're big shields. I hope I don't have to fight them. Pompey was bound to be killed sooner or later. Sereno. He was a Roman citizen. All right. Caesar's got to be around here. I think I heard him already. Yep, and there's Pompey's head. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. <laughs> pharaoh? Oh, this is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? <laughs> It's a sacred rock. I wonder how you all entered my palace. God, kill these traitors! <laughs> my wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty, Flavius. <laughs> please. <laughs> I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to threaten Caesar. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais. Well, if I was Caesar, I knew who to ally with. I mean, Ptolemy seemed kind of weak and pathetic, and Cleopatra seemed very confident. So I think it's not, not really a competition. That and the fact that she's beautiful and uh, Caesar is quite the ladies man I guess that uh, is important as uh, well Aya dear one thank you for coming all is well with great Caesar <laughs> good my queen soon you will be on your throne yes yes I must ask you a favor though the tomb I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. <laughs> the tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. <laughs> Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. I thought the saying was fortune favors the bold, but I guess that is an interesting variation of that saying. <laughs> fortune favors those who ignore her. Okay, apparently I'm playing as Aya now. Interestingly enough, she's level 31 and not 40 like Bayek. I wonder why that is. Um, okay, but as you can see, she doesn't actually have a skill tree or anything. So I guess um, 
Whenever I'm playing as Arya, I will not actually be doing any kind of combat or whatever. Just ship missions or whatever this is going to be. Some kind of scouting mission, I guess. Reach the tomb entrance. Okay, but I guess um, we will do so. Hang on a second. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> I I didn't want to I didn't want to draw my weapon here. I thought I could run, but that wasn't possible. Oh, I see. This is this is Alexander's tomb. So I guess this is actually Caesar over here. Did I tell you of the poet Catullus? I don't believe so. <laughs> Another cur who made brief mention of me in his verse. <laughs> I do not study over much to please and court you, Caesar, nor do I care much to know if you be black or you be white. <laughs> Impudent man. Plato's dislike for poets had merit. <laughs> yes, as pretty as their words can be, they are roaches by the best measure. Annoying, but easily handled. And how did you handle this one? I invited him to my house for dinner and drinks. Know thy enemies as thy kin. And get them excessively drunk when it needs be. <laughs> All right. Interesting to hear them talk, though. I mean, she's obviously impressing him with her knowledge of, you know, the classics and the great writers. So I guess I'll have to leave them alone and find that entrance, right? Or should I just follow them? No, I think I think they more or less stopped talking. So if I remember correctly, um, there was a way down somewhere around here. Oh, look at that. Now the door's open. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. <laughs> hmm. I doubt it. Well, I think I can already see like a weak wall over here, so... You must not have looked all that closely. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. I'm guessing I have to destroy the wall, but gotta look at all the other stuff too. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. <laughs> well, yeah, they tried everything with a door, but not the wall, I assume. Hmm. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Alright, let's check out the wall instead. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! Okay. Well, what could that way be? If I just try to... <coughs> slash it open? Yep, that works. This is a tighter squeeze than the caves west of Siwa. <laughs> we were smaller in those days. <laughs> Explore the tunnels. Okay, so now we are in the tomb, or underneath the tomb anyway. Um, all right, let's see. There really only looks to be one way in this direction, which is through here, right? And now I probably have to destroy this stuff over here. There we go. Ooh. Um. Well. <laughs> I hope there's water down there. It Where is. Where to now, my love? Ah, uh, good question. 
I guess we have to dive because it doesn't look like the walls will get us anywhere. Alright. This is a way we can go. And apparently Aya can hold her breath like forever because she doesn't even have like... Okay, so we have some air over here. Which means I can go back there whenever I need to breathe again. Um, I see a bunch of treasures over here, so maybe I should explore this corner. I mean, it's just treasures, but... Maybe it's going to lead me to some other interesting clues. Okay, so far... I'm not really seeing anything too interesting. Okay, there's more treasures over here. I will check these out as well. Again, just normal treasures. Um, yeah, we have a number of openings, so I probably have to go through one of these. Like this one. Oh, this is where I came from. I honestly can't tell. No, I'm pretty sure this is not where I came from. All right. What have that we found here? May it soul rest in peace. T About time you showed up. I was guarding your rear. My rear is fine. <laughs> Your rear is very, very fine, Aya. I agree. Um. All right. How do we proceed from here? Oh, there's an opening. Ooh, I think we found something. That's a big sarcophagus. The tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar <laughs> sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade. So I can protect <laughs> myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. This is an interesting sarcophagus, though, because it's kind of transparent. Fascinating. Hmm. Anyway, um, I guess I need to <coughs> open the door. Let's do it. Yes, yes, I'm coming. I had to marvel at the... At the sarcophagus. Rex Immortalis. Stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. 
What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It taught me that you vent. <laughs> Together we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We found the great king. Well, that surely impressed Caesar. That was probably the best thing Cleopatra could have done. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. All right, rescue Caesar's emissaries. Well, let's see how we're going to do that. And if we actually have to fight for that. <coughs> All right, we're back in Alexandria, so um, I don't even have a map when I'm playing as Aya. That is weird. I feel that they should at least give me a map. But okay, I'm just going to follow um, my quest marker, I suppose, and then we will find out what to do. You there! Stop! All right, so our quest is inside this big fort, which means I probably have to infiltrate it secretly. I mean, I do have arrows. That's great. Oh, and I can assassinate. That's good to know. So I do have to fight, at least a little bit. Oh, look at that over there. There's actually people on, on the roof. How unusual. But I mean, the whole thing is slightly unusual because, for example, I can't call Senyu. Well within range. <laughs> um, yeah, I should probably... Avoid getting seen by them. Target is in range. Let's just give them a wide berth. Oh, I can't can't Stop go any further in this direction. Because I guess <laughs> This is not part of her memory. Okay. So I have to get inside that building, apparently. Um, right. Let's see, maybe I can, if not avoid them, at least assassinate a few of them. But I know it'd be my chance to sneak Better past them. <coughs> Septimius has plans for this baseball. You won't get anything. Somebody just kill me. Finish the damn job. I come to save you. All right, let's do it. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is oh, futile. This is a jackal. A change of plans. And a the lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Uh. 
Then they said they left for. Where? Where? All right, sorry for this abrupt interruption here, but I just had to uh, take the door because um, I got a delivery. But now we can continue and I guess now I have to take um, the emissary out of this place. So let's try to find the best way to do this. And again, I would prefer not to get into any actual battles. Um, I should find a horse. A horse? Why do you want a horse? You are inside a building. And if I remember correctly, there are some hidden passages around here, so... Oh, I think someone is... Someone is trying to light the signal fire. That is a problem. So, one more reason to get out of here quickly. Someone is trying to light a signal fire. Um, well, there's some soldiers over here. I'll get the fire going. Let's see if I can just sneak past them. Let's hurry up a little bit, come on. We're almost at the exit. There we go. Oh no, oh no, uh, and now suddenly someone actually noticed us. Um, let's see. Is there a good way down here without actually like killing the emissary? <laughs> okay, I think, I think I'm good again. Um, Okay, we have some stairs over here, so that should work out. Hey, wait! Oh, but um, there are still there are still guards that get suspicious. All right. Um, I guess I'm good now, but I still have to take him to the palace. Um, I mean. A horse wouldn't be so bad right about now, but can I actually call a horse? Okay, I can. Let's let's use a horse. All right, and now let's go. Um, of course, this is not the best place for a horse. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this is a terrible place for a horse. Don't <gasps> <laughs> um, um, yeah. I'm not sure if if using a horse is such a good idea in in this particular place. <gasps> Whoa! Gotta find, gotta find a better way to the palace. I'm just destroying all kinds of pottery. Okay, we got an actual road over here. That's more like it. And yeah, there's the ominous wall of non-availability. Maybe because I'm riding all over them. Okay, I think I think we're good now. I'm heading to the Serapian. Praying is our only hope left. The gods have been enlisted. All right, I am back. And I brought back your emissary. There we go. That was a lot more complicated than it should have been. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septumius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. 
And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Oh dear, oh dear. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoy. Well, I understood that gesture. Okay, so we're going into battle now. I smell war! And a confrontation <laughs> with Ptolemy. We will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. <laughs> Prove Caesar wrong, my love. <laughs> well, if all we have to do is take this up to the lighthouse, I think this should work. They will attack on sight here. All right, so I have to reach the top of the pharos, which I have already done as Bayek, so I think I should be able to do this. However, the episode is getting very long, so I'm going to make a cut here, and we will continue this in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching, and see you again next time.